Elspeth here from Vegan News Daily, and today I'm going to show you very quickly how to de-seed pomegranates. So I used to use a method where I'd cut the pomegranate in half and then use a wooden spoon and bang out all the little seeds inside. And my kitchen looked like a murder scene. There was pomegranate juice everywhere. So I like to use this new method. So I cut the little crown end off, just a little slice. And then when you look inside, you can see some sections on the pomegranate. So I simply just run my knife, not cutting all the way through, but I just go around, um, you can do it in four sections. There's six sections here, but I just want to gently cut through um, the outer layer of the skin. And then I have a bowl of water, and I just take the, the pomegranate and I put it, submerge it under water so I'm not gonna get splattered with pomegranate juice, um, which is not so bad wearing a shirt this color, but I don't wanna have pomegranate juice all over my face. So I simply pull out the pomegranate seeds and separate them from the membranes and from the skin. And you'll notice that the seeds float, I mean, sink to the bottom and the, the membrane, all these little white membranes that go in amongst the seeds float to the top. So I just continue all the way around, just loosening the seeds from the membranes. So once I've got most of the seeds out, I can simply lift out the skin and then I use a little, um, a little sieve and I just simply scoop out all the, the little white membranes that floated on the top. And there will be some membranes that are still um, hugging onto the seeds in the bottom, but I'll be able to tackle those later. And then I'll just take a, a bowl with a sieve, or I can do this over the sink and I can simply drain out all the water. And I'm left with all the pomegranate seeds here. So I'll just pull out some other bits of membranes that are still clinging to some of the seeds. And then, that's it, pretty good. You can pick away at this for a while, but you're basically left with these juicy averils that you can spread on salads, or garnish roasted vegetables, or use in some of our wonderful recipes. So now I'm gonna invite my daughter Keely on to tell us a little bit more about pomegranates and the benefits of pomegranates. Thank, Thank you, you, Mom. Hi. <laughs> so I realize I am unintentionally wearing a pomegranate colored shirt. Um, so I do have a quick story. So pomegranates are really full of antioxidants. They're wonderful for helping to boost red and white blood cell counts. And they're also very detoxifying for the body. Not to mention they're so delicious and you can also juice them or just eat them. They're beautiful as garnishes on salads, any kind of, you know, avocado toast even really brings a pop of color. So my fun story about pomegranate actually has to do, it takes us all the way to India, to Buddha. And one day Buddha was taking alms for the poor, so he was accepting donations, and all of the rich men were coming to give their donations. So a king came and he gave Buddha the finest adorned gold objects that he could find, and Buddha accepted them with one hand and then put them down. And then a very rich man came and gave Buddha all of the gold coins that he had, and Buddha accepted them again with one hand and put them down. And then a very poor woman who did not look like she was well off at all came and she had gave Buddha Buddha, half a pomegranate and she said I'm so sorry this is all I have and I ate the other half for lunch but I want to give you give you this and Buddha accepted it with both hands and so <laughs> so the rich men were why did you accept her gift her small gift with both hands when you accepted all of ours with only one and we gave you all these riches and Buddha said well you all gave less than 10% of what you have where she she gave me everything and so I think that's a beautiful story about faith and uh, gratitude and giving. And it's certainly seasonal for this time of year of Thanksgiving. Thank you, Kaylee. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want more tips and tricks and fabulous recipes. You're gonna love them.